All right, so let's see if you can see my screen here. I assume you can. Okay, so this tip comes from the community. It's a question we see quite often. What people are doing is they want to build a progressive reveal interaction. So what you're doing is you're clicking on a uh, clicking on something on the screen and it shows, and then you click on something else and then it shows something else, but it keeps that first thing that you're showing available and then you click on the third thing and you kind of progressively reveal things so generally what people do is they'll have the clickable object and in our example it's going to be a button when I click on the button it's going to show a layer and I want to keep that layer open then when I click on the next button I want to show that layer but I want to have both of those layers that I was showing open so I'm going to actually show you how that works and then there's a second component to that is like when I click on that layer so in this case I'm going to click on layer one and then layer one I'm going to show my information and then, and I also want to have audio playing so let's look at a completed project then we're going to build it and we're going to run into the issue that people generally run into and then I'm going to show you how to fix that so this is the desired effect here so I'm going to preview this slide. And we want to do this progressive reveal. So you're going to see as I click on a button, click on the button, it's going to jump to a layer, or it's going to show a layer. And then on that layer, I'm going to have audio. So you can see here. The process interaction can be used in a variety of ways to illustrate the steps of a process. So you can see I clicked. It shows my text. And we heard audio. Now I'm going to click on the next one. I'm going to do these in order before the audio completes so that you can see that the audio stops when I go to the next one. So I'm going to click on two. Learners click on the numbered objects to in this click example. On three. Only the active step is the descriptive content four. here is only text, but you could include images, video, and or audio here. So what you see is that as I was clicking through those, when I went from one to two to three to four, we see the layers stay open. The other thing we hear is that the audio stops. So if I was on layer one, the audio stops when I get to layer two or layer three, layer four. So that's kind of the effect people want. So the thing that seems to be most most obvious when you're building this is, is I'm going to build my buttons and then my buttons are going to go to a layer. So that all seems like that's the way we would build it. And then on that layer, I'm going to have my content. And then I'm going to put my audio on the layer as well. And so then I click on this one. I see my content. I hear the audio. I click on the next button. I see my content. I hear the audio. So that's that's what you think you'd have to build and that makes sense because that's normally how we would approach that but we're going to run into issues so I'm actually going to build it the way people tend to build it because it's the way that we would all approach this and then we'll look at what happens and why and then we'll look at how to solve that what's really great about these challenges it's not so much this challenge, right? You may not ever have to build this, but it's really digging into the tools and understanding how the different features work. So that's the part that I like best about these. So I'll actually point some things out as we're doing that. All right, so I got a, I got a blank slide here. So on this slide's already set up. This is one of those templates from Content Library. So the way this is set up is if I look at here, I click on the button, I can see there's a trigger that says show layer, show layer one. I come to layer one here, and then on layer one, I've got my content, right? So I can, I've got my content, and uh, I don't have my audio file yet. So I'll show you how to create audio. So if you're brand new to Storyline, you can learn a few extra things. All right, so the tabs interaction works the way a tabs interaction works. So when I click on this tab here, it's going to show layer one. I click on this tab, it's going to show layer two. You can see that layer one now disappeared. I click on the next tab, it's going to show layer three. And you can see that that disappeared as well layer two did. So the reason it's disappearing is because if we come to our slide property, so if I click on, a, if I'm down here and I'm on a layer, so right here, then I click on this little gear icon, that's my 
going to show the slide layer properties. And you'll see by default what we do is we select the this right here that says hide other slide layers. So what's going to happen is when I uh, go from one layer to the next, it's just going to hide the other layer, right? So what we want to do is turn those off, and that allows us to have the progressive reveal. So I would just go ahead and turn that off. And then if I click on this layer and then click on another layer, then we'll be able to see all the layers together. So that's how I would do that. Again, just to backtrack that, if I click on the layer and I come over here to the gear icon, I click on that, that opens up slide layer properties. And by default, it's going to hide other slide layers, and we just want to deselect that. So that's one way to do it. So I'm going to show you a shortcut, too. So if I go to layer two, if I double click on it, you can see it also opens up the slide layer properties. So normally, you can just go to the gear icon, but if you double click on it, that opens that up. Now I'm going to show you a bonus, bonus tip. If I select all four of these layers here, so I'm going to select them all, and then I could go to the gear icon, click on that, and then I can deselect them all at the same time. So, you know, if you only have four layers, it's not a big deal. But if you have uh, 10 layers, you don't have to go through all 10 layers. You can select them all and then turn that off. So now what we have is this um, progressive reveal. So if I preview this, step one. Step two, you can see that it keeps those slide layers open. And so that's that progressive reveal. Now what we want to do is we just want to add some audio to this file. So I'm going to go ahead and add audio. I'm going to show you how to create your own audio. Sometimes, you know, you, you may need some demo audio or something to work with. So instead of recording it, I'm just going to go to each layer. And we've got the text in here. So I'm going to do Control-C. I'm going to copy that. So inside the layer, I'm going to go to Insert. Up here, I'm going to insert audio. I'm just going to use the text to speech. And then I'll paste the text here for that audio. I'll paste that and I'll insert it. And so the text to speech is just going to create some dummy audio for me so I can see that right here. So I'm going to do that for each layer. So I'm going to come over here, control C, go up to insert audio, text to speech. I'm going to paste that in here, and then we'll go to three. We'll just grab this text, control C, and we're going to insert audio here on my glasses. All right, insert audio, text to speech, and I'm going to paste that in here. And you can also, you can see, you can there's drop downs. You can choose other voices and whatnot in there. I'm going to go ahead and insert that. And we'll do this last one. It's a good thing I only have four tabs and not ten. Right? So this is easy enough to do. So I'm going to go the same thing. Insert audio, text to speech, and we have that. So now we have this progressive reveal, and on each slide we have audio. But now here's what's going to happen. We have the progressive reveal. This that means each layer is going to be open. And then each layer has its own audio. But what's going to happen is as we jump from layer to layer, there's nothing to stop the audio that's on the open layer. So you're going to hear multiple audio tracks at one time. So hopefully you can hear that through this speaker. So I'm going to go ahead and preview this slide. And this is the problem people run into because the way we just built it is the way you would expect to build it. To expect to build it. I'm going to click on these. So I click, I hear the audio. The process interaction click. can be used in a variety of numbers to illustrate the steps of a process. The active step is displayed when the letter clicks on the step name. Images, video, and or audio here. So now you can see as I was clicking through that, this open this layer, it starts playing the audio. But because this layer is still open, and I come to this layer, and it's going to play the audio of layer two, but layer one audio is still playing. Normally, we would have that turn the layer off, right? So you're jumping from layer to layer, and then that would turn off the audio. But because we want to keep this progressive reveal effect, and we want each layer to be open, we have to come up with a way to stop the audio. Now, if you're 
not that familiar with storyline, you might say, okay, well, what do I want to do? I don't want the audio to play. So then you may create a trigger that says, you know, uh, pause media when something happens. Well, we don't need to do that. I'm going to show you a really easy way to leverage the visited states. So if we think about what's going on is we want to progressively reveal these the text here, right? So what we could do is instead of putting the text on the layer, we just keep the audio on the layer. And then what we do is we take this text information and in the button we create a visited state. Because what does a visited state do? A visited state is a state that is pre-built and the way it's designed is if I click on it, the state of the button becomes visited because it's just like I clicked, I visited this button, so I have a visited state. So if we just insert a button in here, by default, I'll just insert a button here, right? I'll go to states. I'm going to go to visited right here. I'm going to make this a uh, different color. We'll make it red. So the visited state by default is set up. I can't remember what layer that was. Is that layer one? The process nope. interaction can be used learners in a click variety on the of ways to illustrate the process. process. Only text, but you can include images, name. video, and or audio here. All right, so the audio is still playing. All right, so if I click on this button here, once I click on it, it automatically goes to a visited state. So what's happening is this storyline has this pre-built state visited. I click, it goes to a visited state. So what we could do is we could modify the visited state and that can hold this content that we have. And then when it holds the content, we won't have the content on the layer. We'll have all that text and the visual content in the state for visited, so I click on it, it's visited, but we'll still jump to the layer, but we're only going to play the audio. And so we won't have to worry about the um, the text playing at the same time because we're also going to turn off that reveal, the, the way those, those layers are revealed. So let me go ahead and close this. And you're going to see here, so I'm going to delete this. All right, so what we want to do first is we, we have our buttons right here. So we have our buttons. And in the buttons, we're going to go ahead and create a visited state. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to select this content here. Do Control X. That takes it off. And I'm going to go to my tab. And I'm going to go ahead and put a visited state on here. So I'm going to create a new state. I just have to start typing visited, and you can see it shows up. And then on that visited state, make sure you're inside the state. I'm going to paste Control V, and I'm going to paste that in there. And just to speed things up and apply, I'm going to apply all of this to all of these, just to, so you don't have to watch me copy and paste. And this is a good shortcut, too. I'm going to take this button here. And since it all has a visited state and they all kind of look the same, I'm just going to go ahead and do Format Painter, double click, and I'm going to apply that to each of these. And I'm just doing that so I don't have to go in here and copy and paste all of this. Now, I do need to come in here and delete these because we don't need them, right? So this is all, this all would have been copied and pasted into, oops. I did not delete that. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and delete this. Okay. So now what we have is we've got our tabs. I click. It's going to go to the layer. It's only going to play the audio. And the visual part is going to be on the visited state. Now, because I don't need that progressive reveal and I don't want all the audio to play at the same time, I'm going to select all these layers again. I'm going to go to my gear icon here. I'm going to open up the slide layer properties, and I'm going to hide other slide layers. And so what's going to happen when I go to slide layer one, it's going to play slide layer one audio. When I go to slide layer two, it's going to hide that layer, so that audio is going to stop. So we're not going to get the overlapping audio. So what we're basically doing is we're taking the visual content and putting it on the visited state and we're taking the audio and just putting it on the layer. And then that's uh, 
easy peasy, right? So let's go ahead and preview this and make sure it works. So what we should have is when I click the button, I should see that visited state and I'm jumping to this layer to play the audio. The process interaction can be used when in a I variety jump of to ways this to layer, illustrate the steps of a process. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to play the audio and change a visit state. Click on the numbered I'm going to click to this to one. In this example, and you can see it only the it off. active step, the descriptive content here is only text. Off. But you can so we get the same dish, effect. Video, and or audio here. All right. So we get the same effect, but we're not having to do all those triggers and try to figure out what to do with the audio. So what we have is a button that shows a layer and on the layer we only insert the audio and then the visual content we just leverage the visited state and that allows us to have that progressive reveal and also have the audio that doesn't overlap and we don't have all these complicated triggers trying to figure out how to start and stop the media that's basically it um, I'm gonna upload the file or it's uploaded on the resource page so if you want to deconstruct this and later you can go back and watch this if this was a little fast for you if you're just getting started with Storyline. So go ahead, play around with this, see if this works for you, get to know how these states work with the objects and it opens up a lot of possibilities.